Today, our specialty is breakfast slash anytime hash. This is a really versatile recipe and it's basically a protein and lots of veggies. So today we're using ground turkey, but you could use um, uh, salmon, you could use bison, you could use anything, but you want it in sort of a ground up form because it's going to be hashed. So the first thing we do is our all what we do for so many things, we're gonna brown the onion. So it's about one onion, and I just put a little garlic in there. And so, we're just gonna make sure that the onion is all nice and yellow and finished. Then we're gonna add the, the um, ground turkey to it. And then we're gonna add a whole lot of vegetables and some interesting seasonings. Okay, so now we have two pounds of ground turkey, and we're gonna add that to our um, nice onions and oil mixture, and we're gonna brown that. You could do it just a little bit at a time, or you can just do the whole thing at once. The kitchen always smells good on the days we're doing this. Love it. You know, I, I have a home office, so when patients come through the door, they, they always wonder what I'm cooking, and so I get to do a little educating of patients while I'm here, but because nutrition is very much a part of my practice, when I'm working with children and adults with mood and behavior issues and learning issues, nutrition's a big deal. And this is one of the reasons I actually made this class was so that I could offer people easy and healthy solutions that are quick, or turkey, that's um, browned and ready, ready to go. It, you could probably eat it just like this. But now here's where the fun comes. You can mix and match almost anything that's in your refrigerator. So it's a good refrigerator dump. But here are some examples. You could take Brussels sprouts. I've almost shaved them. And I have a little zucchini zoodle, you know, where you take the zucchini noodles. We have cauliflower. We have butternut squash. Right here I have cabbage. And here I have broccoli and uh, carrots and a little snow peas. So you can do any combination and you can do as much as you want. If you want it mostly vegetables with a little protein or whatever proportion you want. And then the spices, again, you can be creative. I almost always put turmeric in. I love turmeric, it's so good for everything. And I've got cumin and I've got, um, I probably would put thyme in here too. Again, you may have favorites, or your family may have favorites, or you may like to just experiment. I put basil and uh, herbs de Provence in a lot of times too. Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna do some Brussels sprouts. Mm -mm -mm. Now these are not boiled ahead of time. They could have been leftovers that I could add to it, but these aren't, so I just have to be mindful of it to allow time for them to prepare. And then I'm gonna put the um, butternut squash in. Sounds really good, doesn't it? Now both of these I'm putting in first because they're gonna take longer. You know, when you're doing a stir fry, which I could also do this in a stir fry pan if I wanted probably. Um, no, I wouldn't because the quantity is too much. But when you're using a stir fry, you put the more dense, uh, the vegetables that take longer to cook in first. And so in this case, it's our Brussels sprouts and um, uh, butternut squash. And then, now I think you could do this in a slow cooker, or you probably could do it in your Instant Pot. Once you've got the, the, the protein browned, you just add all these stuff, and then you just want the flavors to melt. And, You could, like in, in a slow cooker, you could have this going on for a few hours, or you know, two or three hours, just so all the flavors are there, and you don't have to be tending the stove every minute. So, um, okay. I'll meet you back in a few. Okay, one of, the, one of the reasons that I'm so interested in finding all these protein and veggie meals is that one of my neighbors had a really terrible accident recently and I'm 
they've seen the dinner for her every night and she likes to eat real healthy. And she said, please just protein and veggies, no carbs, no nothing else. And so this recipe among others is just exactly what she's asking for. So actually, um, it's got all the vegetables in it. It's lean, it's got no fat, no, no sour cream, no special sauces, no roux, no nothing. So you could eat it just like this and you can add all the different spices you want. You put tons of turmeric or sage or basil or herbs de Provence. You could, you could vary it a lot by the spices. And another way you could vary it if you want, you could put um, uh, canned tomatoes in there. You could do chicken broth or your to tomato sauce if you wanted it um, with, with wetter than it is right now. So <clears throat> it is endless ideas. But basically, it's a really healthy, low fat, really good for you, protein and veggie dish. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, there's just a second. You gotta watch me eat it because what you don't know is I've already been tasting when the camera wasn't looking. Mm. Mm. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Reminds me of Popeye the spinach man from my childhood because I feel powerful. There's a, there's a cleanness about it, like a clean, raw power that comes from eating really nutritious food that's good for you. So it makes me feel powerful. Okay, bon appetit.